So this, uh, you wanted to come in and talk about stem cells. Yeah. Maybe you heard recently about how Mel Gibson took his dad to stem cell therapy. Initially, it was for my dad. He was 92, and he was doing all the old man stuff. You know, his hip was killing him, and he was like, uh, he had he had multiple problems. Hutton Gibson, who was 92 at the time, had many health and joint issues. Everything from you know, the prostate to the to the hip to the kidneys to the heart to the lung. You know, the whole deal. Before the treatment. The old man was in pretty bad shape in a wheelchair, but he was injected with some intravenous stem cells that put young anti-inflammatory cytokines and growth factors into his body. We took him down there and he got, uh, I think it was like a double dose in the hip. A double dose in the hip. He's almost 100 years old. And uh, from pretty bad shape, it was like bee stings. It was like he got a new lease of life. His um, cognitive powers improved. His eyesight improved. Whoa. Whoa. You know, and other stuff improved that I he would hate me to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Double dose in the hip. Intravenous stem cells. Whoa. <laughs> but he had two nurses that reported to me. <laughs> and it was like, holy mackerel. Dr. Neil Riordan, the one who carried out the procedure, claims that the stem cells will also heal spinal cord injury as they've helped to make a paralyzed pilot who crashed in a plane walk again. Mel Gibson was also seen together with the famous social media star Dan Bilzerian at the Stem Cell Institute in Panama. I did the rotator cuff. I, yeah. I, I basically, I, I couldn't even lift my arm like three inches. I did the Regenekin and then three weeks later I was boxing. What is this magical sorcery? Or is it the Illuminati technology? Stem cell therapy is definitely not something new, but it's still not very common in mainstream medicine. And of course, it's quite expensive as well, so most people can't afford it. But don't worry, you too can rejuvenate yourself and regain your youthfulness. In this video, I'm gonna explain you how you can boost your stem cell growth naturally, unlike Mel Gibson. A double dose in the hip. Stem cell therapy involves bone marrow transplants, umbilical cord blood injections, somatic cell nuclear transfers, and many other similar sources. Basically, you take young and fresh stem cells and you inject them into your body, where they will start to have this rejuvenating effect. And so you put these day zero young healthy cells and they secrete these things that kind of restarts everything. However, your body already produces a lot of stem cells naturally and they're kept in the reserves of your bone marrow and fat tissue. With age, you start to lose your stem cells and they become less effective. This is caused by overall degradation in joint health and the mitochondria. Stem cells consist of mitochondria, which are tiny organelles in your cells that produce your body's energy. If your mitochondria are slow and sluggish, then you'll experience more fatigue and exhaustion in everything you do, including stem cell functioning. Therefore, you can boost your body's natural stem cell production by promoting the functioning of your mitochondria. So here are some ways to do it. Number one, vitamin B3. There have been studies on how giving old mice vitamin B3 helped them to revitalize their stem cells. B3 is also called niacin, and it's one of the essential nutrients that has a big role in energy production and metabolism. Mice who are taking niacin saw incredible anti-aging effects. They saw muscle regeneration, growth of brain and skin cells thanks to stem cell activity. Their lifespans were also substantially longer than the mice who didn't get B3. In another study on a group of mice, they gave half of them vitamin B3 for 3 to 4 months and they had more energy, less weight and improved insulin sensitivity. They could even run 33% longer than the mice who didn't get the vitamin. Foods rich in niacin are fish, poultry, meat, beef, mushrooms, organ meats, peanuts, sunflower seeds, coffee, tahini, and fortified cereal. Taking a B3 supplement can also be a good idea. Cells. Number two, boost your NAD plus levels. Vitamin B3 helps to break down a molecule called NAD plus, which is needed for transferring calories into the mitochondria, where they'll be converted to ATP. NAD can work in two forms, NAD plus and NADH. Low levels of NAD plus increase brain degeneration, inflammation, body fat, fatigue and muscle loss. If you have too much energy coming from external dietary sources, 
then it's going to elevate NADH. This is going to prevent your body from using its own stored fat for fuel, which is also going to make the mitochondria less efficient. Caloric restriction has been shown to raise NAD+, as does carbohydrate depletion. States of ketosis can also increase NAD plus levels by promoting a mitochondrial ability to burn fat for fuel. Other ways of increasing NAD plus are exercise and cold heat exposure. Cells. Number three, intermittent fasting. Fasting will not only boost NAD plus levels, but it will also trigger stem cell activity. Prolonged fasts have also been shown to regulate stem cell populations independently of chemotherapy. Fasting can also reduce damage in bone marrow stem cells and protect against chemotoxicity. Cells. Number four, turmeric. Curcumin or turmeric contains a bioactive compound called aromatic turmerone, which can induce neural stem cell proliferation. Turmeric has also many other anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties that promote the creation of new brain cells and reduce oxidative stress in the body. Cells. But there are some other herbs that boost stem cells. Cells. Spirulina and algae are also great. Mice who are fed spirulina for 28 days grew new and stronger stem cells. Spirulina promotes stem cell genesis and protects against declines in neural stem proliferation. Spirulina and chlorella also contain small amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA, which are the most important fatty acids for the brain. They already promote cognitive functioning and neural health, so it makes sense that the same effect applies to your entire body. Within cells interlinked. Stem cell therapy is definitely going to become more popular in the future, and it's definitely something that we can all take advantage of. It was like I had lightning coming out of my fingers. <laughs> like, ah! But the most fundamental things for health and longevity is to take care of your mitochondria. Aging and disease are basically caused by mitochondrial degeneration, which comes from poor lifestyle, too much stress, chronic inflammation, exposure to environmental toxins, and inadequate exercise. Therefore, if you want to live up to 100 and stay active and stay youthful in that old age, then you have to take care of your mitochondria today already. Who knows? Maybe you too will be as energized as Hutton Gibson at the age of 100. Like he got a big dose locally in the hip. A double dose in the hip. Fixed all his inflammation and pain and he started walking again. So if you want to know how to do this holistically, how to optimize your body and mind, then check out my free ebook, Body, Mind, Empowerment Handbook. But thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay youthful, stay empowered. Why don't you say that three times within cells interlinked? Within cells interlinked. Within cells interlinked. Within cells interlinked.